can't imagine the African skies um, devoid of vultures. Vultures are very important. They play a fundamental role in our ecosystems. An important part of the food chain. They clean our landscapes. They feed on carrion, or what you call carcass. They remove the carcasses of wild animals and domestic livestock, prevent the spread of diseases, things like anthrax, botulism. And this is a fundamental role that no other birds uh, play outside. It's massive. We just look at um, the problems that we had in South Asia, where there was you know, one main threat, um, sodium diclofenac, resulted in tens of millions of vultures that uh, simply disappeared because of this uh, toxic. We are talking about uh, certain species. The data shows uh, huge declines on the, on the population. In um, Africa, we are um, facing uh, many, many threats and very different across the continent. Two main reasons keep coming up again and again. Poisoning and persecution for their body parts. And we had an incident recently in um, northern Namibia where um, we estimate about 600 vultures were poisoned on, an, on a, uh, an elephant carcass. Understanding this will help us carry out an effective conservation strategy to address this problem. We discovered that diclofenac is available in two EU countries. Diclofenac is now a global problem. Uh, it means that it affects vultures in Asia, but also now in Europe and maybe in Africa. This is why it's uh, critical to, to protect them. So what we are doing as BirdLife International is to work globally with our partners in all these continents. Working with African organizations and individuals to see that the two main threats to vultures in Africa are addressed. We want to save uh, vultures in Europe and solutions exist. We are actually talking about a product that can be replaced by another safer option. Uh, and we know that it works because we have experience uh, from Asia, so it's a clear case for us. BirdLife Partnership is you know, uniquely and very importantly placed to address um, the threats and they have people working on the ground, engaged with the communities. The first step is to get a referral, getting a referral from the European Commission and getting a referral is no more than getting an EU ban on this product. But an enormous amount still needs to be done, I mean it's massive. And it's simply silly not to you know, uh, maintain that investment uh, by reducing any kind of threats that might be affecting vultures. I can't imagine the African skies um, devoid of vultures. It would be a sad day. And as a human, my responsibility is to protect them. <laughs>